Bayraktar Kizaloma unmanned fighter jet made by Baykar Technologies. Turkey successfully carried out its first flight. The news and video of the first flight were shared via Twitter account on 14 December 2022 by Selsa Bayraktar, chairman of the board and chairman of technology Baykar. The maiden flight took place at the Akitsi Flight Training and Test Center in Korlu, northwestern Turkey. Kizaloma was first introduced to the public in July 2021. This combat drone is capable of flying at supersonic speeds and has good maneuverability features, said Bayraktar. The aircraft has a maximum takeoff weight of 6 tons and is capable of carrying a payload of 1.5 tons. As a fighter jet, the Kizaloma is capable of carrying air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles. Another advantage is that this aircraft is capable of taking off on short runways and is designed to one day operate on the Turkish Navy's TCG Anadolu amphibious assault ship. TCG Anadolu was originally designed to carry Lockheed Martin's F-35B fighter jets. However, because Turkey had withdrawn from the F-35 program, the Kizaloma was designed as its bride, even though this one was unmanned. This concept is at the heart of the upcoming sixth-generation fighter jet. Later, Kizaloma will also act as a loyal wingman for the Turkish stealth fighter jet currently being developed, namely the TFX. The Bayraktar Kizaloma Combat Drone, marketed by Baykar Turkey as an unmanned fighter jet, has completed its first flight. The flight apparently took place at the Akinsi Flight Training and Test Center in Korlu, northwestern Turkey. First announced in July 2021, the Kizaloma was developed as a stealth unmanned combat aircraft with characteristics similar to regular fighter jets. According to Baykar, Kizaloma has supersonic speed and has good maneuverability characteristics. With a maximum takeoff weight of 6 tons, the drone is planned to have a payload capacity of 1,500 kilograms. It will be capable of performing air-to-ground, air-to-air missions. This unmanned aircraft is designed to be able to operate from carriers. As such, the aircraft is also designed to land and take off on short runways. Ultimately, Baykar will have to operate from the TCG Anadolu aircraft carrier, which is currently conducting sail tests.